Portland police tell us they haven't arrested anyone for that damage. And tonight, we're sitting down with a man in charge of putting criminals behind bars at a time when rioting has become more common and the city's homicide rate is breaking records. Liz Birch is asking Multnomah County District Attorney Mike Schmidt the tough questions in an exclusive interview today. Liz. Well, he's been a central figure in the media, even the national media, as Portland grapples with those issues. But that certainly hasn't come without criticism. Some people saying they have the perception that he's not doing enough to prosecute people who are causing damage in those demonstrations. So I asked him today about last night. If anyone was arrested for those crimes, how much of a priority would prosecuting them be? Well, we look at every case individually. Obviously, we'll assess it for its viability and if we have the evidence we need, and then we would still prosecute that case. Uh, so it's it's still uh, you know something that we attend to. We we don't want uh, you know that kind of damage happening uh, in the community. So we do that. But of course, when I'm looking at how to allocate our limited resources, I'm putting more deputy district attorneys, more prosecutors into our gun violence units. So when it comes to gun violence, I asked if they're starting to recognize patterns in what's causing this issue now that they're beginning to prosecute these cases. He says it's really coming down to a few key issues. How much of it do you think is gang violence? Uh, you know, as a, as a whole of all the cases we're seeing, this is my unscientific assessment, but it feels like, uh, you know, maybe a third or more would be attributed to that. Then we see kind of a third or more that I would categorizes more maybe uh, uh, an altercation that just exploded with some other conditions like substance use or mental health or issues like that. And Jenny and Dan, when it comes to that other third, he says it's really a variety of issues, including domestic violence. Yeah, you know, Liz, you've been uh, closely covering the debate on how to fund police. So what did he have to say about that? Well, I did ask him about that, Jenny, and he told me that he does want to see more resources go towards investigation. When I pressed him on the issue if that meant more actual police officers, which is what a lot of this debate really revolves around, uh, he sidestepped that question and said it was really a question for the police chief, the mayor, and other city leaders. And exit interviews, some of the police officer, officers that have left have cited him as a reason mm. for leaving and not having their back. Uh, Liz will have much more coming up at 5 and 6.